Welcome to Crossing Cultures with Sue. Today I have a quiz for you. What is over 100 years old, has 14 members comprising of college seniors, has a name that's often mispronounced, and travels across the globe from Kyoto to Moscow to Beijing, Bangkok, Pattaya, Siem Reap, Delhi, Cairo, Paris, and more. It's the Whiffen Poofs. Okay, I know what you're thinking now, Whiffen who? Well, the Whiffen Poofs is a collegiate, a cappella group from Yale University in the US. They travel around the world with their performances. And while in Thailand, they are down here in Pattaya to perform at the Siam Beishore Hotel. So in a while, we're going to have a chat with them to bring you more information about the group. Standing now with some of the young gentlemen. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Joshua Levin, Jerry Lieblick, KG Ishiguri. All right. Uh, what voices do you have in your group all together? We we uh, we're an, uh, a four-part chorus: tenor one, tenor two, baritone, and bass. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why do we need? Why do you need fourteen people? Um, well, 14 people is a good uh, good amount to get a solid sound. It gives enough on like the really big, powerful songs, but also is intimate enough that on our sort of uh, smaller ballads, um, we can get a really gentle sound. Now, uh, Whiff and Poofs was started in 1909, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. How did it start? Who started it? Um, the Whiff and Poofs actually used to be a four-person, it used to be a quartet. Uh, from of all senior males from the Yale Glee Club, which has been around since 1860, 1869. I believe they're celebrating their 150th anniversary next year. So, uh, 71. Does that make sense? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Long time. Um, yeah. So that and they started singing together at a bar at Yale called Maury's, um, where they gathered every Monday night, and people would come to listen to them. So it was a really good time. Carried on for 100 years. 101. 101 years, yeah. Uh, what kind of choral music do you have in your repertoire? Uh, we do a very big range of music, everything from jazz to old standards to more pop music. Mm -hmm. I think we, you know, when you hear us, um, you know, we have something for, for all different audience members, people who are young, who are listening to the radio, and, and someone of an older generation as well. Mm -hmm. Do you have your own original compositions? Uh, yeah, we actually have, uh, I think there are there are two songs that we sing. There's a third uh, that has been written. I'm sure there's more um, that were original compositions. Of course, the Whiff and Poof song, uh, we sang a song called Time After Time tonight. Um, there's others that have been written, one in the 80s, called Something Like the Blues, another called What's Your Name, uh, 1967. Um, so people sometimes write things for the Whiffs, but most of what we do is arrange uh, pre-existing songs of uh, the different musical traditions Josh was talking about. Uh, what's the point of traveling around the world with the performances? Um, we like to consider ourselves sort of ambassadors of Yale University, and I think it's very important to travel um, to places that don't really have an a cappella tradition and really share uh, with them what um, what we love and what we're all about. So. How many performances do you have in a year? So we'll sing about 200 concerts in a year, um, and uh, you know the Whiffen Poofs over the past decade or so have become increasingly entrepreneurial. And so not only are we singing throughout the United States, but uh, over the next three months, this group of Whiffen Poofs, this group of 14, will be singing in about 20 countries. Wow! When do you have time for your studies, young man? Well, it's a terrific question. Um, only about four of us this year are actually full-time students. The rest of us have taken time off of school for a leave of absence to do the Whiff and Poofs. And then uh, just study later? They'll return next year to finish up their education. Okay, what do they enjoy more, studying or singing? Oh, I mean, they're totally different. Singing's great, though. <laughs> 
it relaxes you. Oh, certainly. Would you would you take it as a profession later? I mean, I, I'm actually a music major. At, you know, only two of us in the group are music majors, though, so it's it's something that anyone can do. You also have this uh, project. What do you call this project? Education through music project. What yeah. is it? E Education through music is a charity based in New York City mm -hmm. um, that gives grants to low-income schools that can't afford to have music teachers. Mm -hmm. um, and so the Whiff and Poofs are giving a proceed, uh, a portion of all of their tour proceeds to uh, Education through music, so that you know we can support. Um, we, music in schools that wouldn't otherwise have a program. And since our lives have been so deeply impacted by uh, music in our early years, it's a very good way for us to give back. I agree. All right. Um, anything else you want to tell us? Um, we're totally pumped to be in Thailand. Uh, it's been great so far. Can't wait to come back. Yeah. We hope you do come back. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. a lovely evening with the Whiff and Poofs. Join me again next time in Crossing Cultures with Sue. Good night.